Hello, my beautiful co-creators. Lilu here. I'm in London at the Starbucks in London. The weather just kicked in, the British <laughs> weather. I'm here with Sonia. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hello, the world. I I'm with Sonia Choquette. I know usually you're used to the Sonia with uh, the dark hair. She's actually sitting right there and I just interviewed her, but this is Sonia's daughter that is as gifted uh, as her mom. The new generation, I love it. Oh, yes, yes. I am so grateful to be here and have this opportunity to speak with you. Yeah, and you get to travel with your mom. And I, I'm very interested and always love to interview, as I did with Wayne Dyer, I interviewed his, his kids because I just, I think it's so fabulous to be raised in a spiritual family. How was that? How is Sonia in real life? We want to get the juicy details. <laughs> Uh, my mom is fabulous, you know, honestly, she is my hero. Yeah. She is my guide. She is my most favorite person in the entire world. Uh, growing up with my mom was magical, you know. Uh, she encouraged me to use my intuition and my spirit ever from my, the time I was so, so little. Yeah. And it was never something that was weird or different. And not only that, but she invited my friends in. She invited everybody in to come play with us. Yeah. So, you know, she made it fun. You know, a lot of times with spirituality and intuition, people get so mental about it and they get so bogged down in how do I do it? Am I doing it right? I have to take it seriously. I have to take all the notes. But my mom taught me that manifesting and creating and um, using your intuition is something that is fun and wonderful and just the best way to live your life and it's just a way to use all of your tools yeah. in your and, tool. and I guess she was not making you wrong one second for playing with angels and guides around you and Bella <laughs> exactly and that was so wonderful because kids are so perceptive and you know parents and sometimes not, don't encourage that you know they don't necessarily see eye to eye and don't understand where their kids are coming from for me my mom would play games like like, who's calling on the phone? Or play games like, who, who, what's your spirit guide? Or, or what do you say? Or, you know, when we'd go into situations and, and we'd have a bad vibe, we'd go, Mom, I have a bad vibe. This person doesn't make me feel good or something. And it was right there. Okay, let's go. Let's, you know, or what are you, how do you feel? What are you exploring? So it was always affirming us and empowering us in our spirit and in our intuition, which just, I mean, as a young adult, I am forever grateful, you know, because now I'm trying to teach it to my other people my age, yeah. yeah. And you clearly, so, so you clearly have the intuition. I mean, this is something that you got from your mom, but this is something we can all develop, mm -hmm. right? But you had it. I mean, this is a <laughs> gift you were born with. Well, yeah, I mean, everybody is innately intuitive, you know? It's just a matter of building that muscle. And um, I luckily have had a great bodybuilder mom <laughs> in the intuition sense, you know? She was always encouraging me to build those muscles. So everybody's intuitive. You know, sometimes we just have a little weaker muscles and we just need to build them up. <laughs> And you love, how come you love particularly to work with people that really had big traumas? And because I know you, you do that too, you're a healer yourself now and you travel the world and you're writing a book with A House. I mean, all of this is like 24 years old, hello. Um, but it's, it, tell us about that. Um, well, you know, throughout my own life, I have had my own set of traumas. I've had lots of friends pass away, lots of friends who've gone through their own traumas. And for some reason, um, I'm really able to connect with that and, and really able to um, help heal that. I, I, and I, I, I don't know. It's just something that I feel is almost innate in me. It's, it's just this sort of... Um, so you tune in to that, uh, to that trauma, to that like, uh, is it, how, how does it feel, how does it look like to you, how do you get through that? Well, if you can tr I know it's, it can yeah. be difficult to explain in words, but I think um, it's... Well, I would say, you know, for me right away when I see somebody in trauma, I can see it and I can feel it in my heart, you know? It's such a heart space experience. Um, it's usually murky and kind of dark, but for me, it's, it's finding that little flicker of light because everybody has it and, and growing their own fire to help heal themselves. I'm just a facilitator, you know, it comes from within. Yeah. So, you know, for me, it, it's, it's helping to reignite that pilot light in a sense mm -hmm. to help heal themselves so that they can grow and, and feel safe again in the world.
Do, do you work, can we call it different dimensions or how does that, is it Akashic even records that you work with? Or? For me it's like I use my guides and I use my guides to enlist their guides and to have their guides kind of... Um, the people talk to your yes, people. Yes, exactly. My people talk to your people and your people can drop in. But <laughs> yeah, and, 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 um, because, and also have them realize that they have a huge arsenal of, of tools and, and guides and people who are willing to help them to help heal. Awesome. Is there one thing that is really important to you, like part of your core message and your heart communication straight up for people watching right now? Yes, and that is play. <laughs> Don't forget to play. In our society, we take ourselves way too seriously. And when we play, we engage the right side of your brain. And in that, you're able to use creativity. You're allowed to do all sorts of things and manifest whatever you want and, and, and really... Um, allow yourself to think out of the box it's it's fun it's it's life is fun and we, childlike yes and we can't forget that mm, beautiful thank you Sonia oh thank you so much I'm excited to do this video and uh, knowing that you're gonna be a next New York Times bestseller <laughs> I did the first interview <laughs> on the juicy living tour with Lilu Massé on the run thank you Sonia thank you so much <laughs> much love from London bye bye, -bye. Yes, uh, <laughs>